just almost like the sound of gods. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? Street here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Stang Stories. Uh, I told you guys I would do a couple of overviews on the car, and one of them being this gorgeous 12-inch LCD display. Uh, it's customizable. It's um, it's uh, I don't I don't know. It's just it's the cool factor is just immense. This comes with the 401A package along with navigation and uh, I think it comes with like the adaptive cruise control or something which I haven't used that because I'm breaking in the car and uh, can't really be doing that. I got 815.3 miles of uh, of glory to tell you the truth. <laughs> uh, by the way before we get started here don't forget to follow me on Instagram silverstang707 posting daily content over there and you can also catch me on Facebook at uh, street707 so link is in the description below. All right so first thing we should do when we talk about the 12 inch LCD immediately is probably drive modes. There are a few drive modes here that customize the display accordingly. Now with the drive mode, um, it changes a couple of different functions. It changes the stiffness of the steering. It changes the stiffness of the suspension. It changes the exhaust note and it changes the display here. So um, down here you have your toggles. This is uh, trash, traction control, steering mode, and drive mode. Now the drive mode, when you switch it, this is normal view. Um, I've actually customized the three gauges in the middle. So imagine the gauges being gone. That would be your normal. Um, that would be your default normal mode, I guess. So you hit the uh, toggle here once you get normal. When you go to my mode, we're going to ignore because I haven't really set that up yet. Um, so here's the sport mode. This is what I drive in all the time. This is this is the money shot for me. I love this mode. Um, it puts it puts like a big tack across the screen. It makes the suspension super stiff. It makes the exhaust note very loud, and it makes the steering super stiff. So it just if you know hashtag because race car shouting, <laughs> it just feels so good. Um, so if we switch it up again, we go to track mode, and that is basically just putting up uh, for track use only. So just so you guys know, it puts um, just a tack across it because you're really not concerned with too much else. I mean, you could customize your gauges to probably show you like your blockhead temperature and you know some different things, but. For the most part, you just need that big tack. Um, and then you can go into drag strip mode, which basically, same thing, except it allows you to uh, start and stop a timer. And that's basically that. Um, it goes along with some of the track apps. The snow and wet is going to be nice for when it's raining. It just really cuts the... That's the other thing the drive modes do is it... It changes the throttle mapping. Um, and so for wet and uh, snow, it just turns the car into a big fat pig <laughs> you know it just turns it into a slob and that's fine man because you don't you don't need all that in the rain it's just you know try to be safe out there guys so you get past that you go back into normal and that kind of shows you what the what the lcd screen does um, with drive modes so let's go ahead and start this overview off with hitting the mustang key here you hit the mustang key and it brings up a menu um, my mode, now what my mode consists of is basically it's, it allows you to customize and I actually want to take that off cause I'm not going to do that one right now. Um, it basically lets you customize your mode to your liking. And I just, I like mine in sport, but if you wanted like sport suspension with comfortable steering, um, or like a loud exhaust note with the normal drive modes, you can do that. Um, I opt out to do that because I like Sport Plus. Sport Plus is amazing. <laughs> so let's get back into the mode here. So I'm actually going to take that off. So here we got exhaust modes, um, quiet, normal, sport, and track. Um, quiet is really nice. Quiet start, I actually want to enable. Quiet start on. It, whoops. And then we're going to go to set quiet time and you get to set a time of when you'd like to start it in the quiet mode. So if I start it, anything after like, you know, 10 PM, we'll go quiet. And then let's see, how do I get to over here? There we go. Press okay. And end time. Um, let's go eight o'clock. 
because you know I'm a nice guy. I'm I'm a nice guy. So quiet mode for startups, um, unless specified otherwise, will now be a little less um, pronounced. It 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 quiets it down quite a bit, but you still get that healthy V8 in there. So <laughs> it is what it is. All right, so we got quiet mode um, set. Um, track apps, a lot of you guys know what the track apps are, man. Acceleration timers, you know, you can set your 0 to 60s. You can get it to just calculate everything if you want it to. Um, brake performance, it'll show you your start or your stop times, um, how far you've traveled, you know, just all the all the things you would expect it to do. Come on, focus there, baby, focus. Um, line lock, line lock is for doing burnouts and stuff. I'm not doing a whole lot of that. Uh, lap timers, you know, you can set the, the times you can have different presets to, uh, calibrate or calculate your, your, um, your yummies while you're over, over there at the track. Um, so we're not using any of those, um, performance shift indicator is nice. It, it allows you to, let's see, I want my tone on, I want my shift light. I want to set the shift point up now because, I'm past the 500 mark, which means I can drive a little more spirited. And let's set that for six grand. I have not redlined it yet, and I don't intend to until I've properly broke it in. So you guys are going to have to wait. <laughs> All right, launch control is uh, for drag racing. Um, you can basically set that to, you know, help you with your launches. And we're not doing any drag racing yet. Hopefully one day we'll get out to the track and we'll do a little bit of that. Uh, the gauges, show my gauges. This is where I configured my three gauges in the middle. So right now I have air fuel ratio. You can do axle oil temp, cylinder head temperature, engine oil pressure. Um, I already have the engine oil in the vacuum, so I opted out of using those. Otherwise, I picked a lot of gauges that move because I just like to see. I guess voltage doesn't really move much, but I might change that. I don't know. I'm still in the middle of customizing everything um, the way I want it, but that allows you uh, three options. Yeah, you get to pick um, three options to display on your tack. And, and then that's how I have, or on your dis heads up display here, um, your HUD. Yeah, it's not a video game street <laughs> on your display here. So um, that's the way I've chosen to make mine. And I really like it. I think it makes it look way cooler. Uh, my color is amazing. My color, the primary color, you get to change. Um, which changes the gauges. Um, you can go, you know, all these different presets, which is nice. Um, I like the red personally for mine. The red just, I really like the way it looks on the inside with the red at night and stuff. Secondary color, um, you get to change like some of the different lines on the display. Um, again, you know, it's just whatever your preference is and you can actually change it up and just, you know, get it to, uh, look exactly the way you want it, really. The ambient lighting, um, that is basically like the door handles and the cup holders. Um, those you can do all kinds of different things with. So I have mine turned on and you can set your color as well. So you go blue. I think that was gray, green, purple, blue, red or orange and red. Um, I have mine set to red because it just everything looks dope in here when it's all set up. Um, and then, whoops! And then you can go into create a color, which is amazing. I mean, you get color wheels to do whatever, whatever color you want to do, which I fully intend on customizing mine a little more, um, a little more uh, unique. You know, get like a really good red or something, which would be kind of cool. Um, and you get three presets for that, so that's awesome. And that basically covers the overview. I mean, we could get into settings, which is, you know, this is all different stuff, which is really nice. I mean, look at this. Look at this. 24.2 miles per gallon. That was being stuck in traffic and being very spirited on my way home. Um, that's a 126 and a half mile round trip. 24.2 miles of the gallon, dude. I am so happy this thing gets good gas mileage. I mean, you really don't, you don't buy it for gas mileage. You buy it for smiles, but it's just nice and it works out and, uh, it just gets really good gas mileage. Fucking thing's awesome. But you got other things in here, you know, you got your fuel economy, your tire pressure, all those different things. So it's really good. All right, guys, I'm running out of time on this video. So don't forget to subscribe, like, if you haven't already hit that notification bell and follow me on Instagram, silverstang 707 whoop, and we'll see you in the next one. Shout out.